What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got a massive uh, amount of information about the portal mode coming to Battlefield 2042. We also got a new trailer which I'm going to run just kind of in a loop in the background here. Before I get into all the details, be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Use code GRAVE for 5% off and Amazon Associates. That's where I link a lot of stuff that I use in gaming every day that you might be interested in. Also check out the new merch store. That's in the description as well. And if you have not subbed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Now, of course, we've got to hear a little bit about the portal mode. I know there's a lot of players out there really excited about it. But today, Dice and EA listed a ton of information about how the portal mode will work. First of all, they said you'll decide on what game mode you want to play. So Conquest Large, Conquest Rush, Free For All, and Team Deathmatch are the choices we will have at launch. Also, it says it depends on your map rotation. So if you're going to play the 128 player maps from Battlefield 2, you'll have seven different large uh, map layouts. If you decide to play some other things, Besides 128 players, some smaller modes, you'll have 13 medium layouts and 13 small layouts. Now, of course, a lot of these maps are from previous Battlefield games. We know like Battlefield 2, Bad Company, uh, Battlefield 3, that kind of stuff. So you will have the option to choose what mode you want to play and then what size map you want to play on. Uh, of course, then it says game mode details. You can go in and actually set up uh, some things like, you know, in Rush or Conquest, if you want the uh, to modify the game time, the reinforcement multiplier, the reinforcement uh, removed per kill as well as per squad character limit up to four maximum and the rules for squad spawns also it says if you choose to keep the number below 128 players you can later decide if you want to add bots into your mode to up the overall player limit it goes on to talk about modifiers is if you're really keen to uh, personalize the co uh, the core rule set then there are many options to choose from uh, friendly fire extreme weather events if they're you know, acceptable on that particular map. Uh, stationary weapon uh, placements, also classic soldier weapon tuning, aim assist tuning, and aim assist zoom snap tuning. You can adjust the sliders or type of custom values within our limits that enable you to change multipliers for projectile split, uh, speed, global damage, headshot damage, body shot damage. There's also a final option that allows you to determine if the player's weapon and ammo drops or ammo only, or if nothing drops on a kill whatsoever. Also, it says with the core of uh, the gameplay design, you can start the to kind of manage the behavior of infantry on the servers. There are nine off and on toggles at play here. It says prone, strafe, sprint, aim down sight, health regen, uh, traversal sprint, slide, and squad revive. Also, it says the man down type field will allow you to choose from down, crawl, uh, unique to hazard zone, and instant death. Also, multipliers will tweak the different fall damage, movement speed, max health, health regen, and redeploy rate. Also, when you look at vehicles, you can control how combat vehicles are spawned in the game. If you like call-ins and conquest and map spawns and rush, you can leave the modifier alone or let the game mode determine how they will be brought into the game. You can have no combat vehicles, on foot call-ins only, deploy menu, of course, on foot call-ins and deploy menu, or spawn up on map options. Uh, user interface will have you have the options to mess with the uh, compass mini map, including a bigger mini map, uh, the HUD soldier uh, soldier weapon modification plus menu, and ally identification, which I think is great. It says you can also adjust the behavior of your ping system using the 2042 default ping targets, or opting for the classic option of 3D spotting. And I think a lot of people will love to hear that, that you actually can add that classic 3D spotting back into portal mode. Some of the things we're able to do is AI, depending on whether or not you're maxed out the player count, you have the option to determine how bots can be leveraged to, uh, you know, your particular mode. You can kind of decide how those bots will interact, difficulty, movement speed, all that good stuff. Also, it says teams with the core, uh, with the chore of your mod established, and your modifier set, you can now determine which uh, battlefield uh, players and teams will compete in your experience. Depending on what you choose in the previous section, you'll be able to deselect which class or 2042 specialist uh, are playable. Also have the option to you know, choose between factions to show up in game. The UK, the US, the Germany factions are available from 1942 with the game appropriate versions of the US and Russia available for reset. Also, in total, there are 75 weapons across the Battlefield portal at launch, and now you can choose your factions 
what abilities they have to manage their weapons available. If both teams are from the same era, you can make sh use of the unlinked team function to customize exactly which weapon each team is getting access to. Also, you have the ability to adjust the attachments. Uh, also, you have the ability to adjust what uh, certain things can be used on vehicles along with gadgets. Uh, pretty much, you have total access to everything here. A lot of stuff people did not like about the beta. A lot of things people didn't like about no more 3D spotting, that kind of stuff. Uh, no faction colors, which I've talked about in videos myself. This is all accessible in the portal mode. I think the portal mode is going to have a huge fan base. And I think there's going to be a lot of players out there that only play portal mode. They may never play anything else. And I think this is going to be great for content, great for communities, great for just uh, everybody in general. If you'd like to customize your own games, this is definitely going to be where you can do it. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.